cool whenever you're ready. So I never appreciated how dumb dogs actually are uh, until we found one swimming a mile offshore in Lake Michigan. What had happened is uh, we had a big party at uh, our sailboat. We were sailing off of um, basically Grant Park, straight off that way. And uh, we had been out uh, for four or five hours at that point, you know, uh, almost surrounded by water completely. You can't really see the city very much anymore. And there's a dog swimming out in the middle of the, the lake. So, you know, I finally poke my friend and say, hey, look, there's a dog out there. We gotta go rescue him. So we kind of turn over our boat and get there. Luckily, we had someone on board who spends her time rescuing dogs, and she knew exactly how to pick up the golden retriever, grabbing him by the collar and the tail, if you can believe that, lifting him into the boat. At which point, we had a 50-pound wet dog in our sailboat, shaking himself wet or dry all over everyone in the boat. So we get this boat, this dog on the boat, and uh, we start noticing that whenever we get closer to uh, the breakwater where all the birds are sitting, the dog is very intently looking at the breakwater and starts barking at it. And we suddenly get a reason why the dog might have been floating out a mile offshore. We must have followed, uh, decided to chase some birds and just go for the breakwater. So we get one person, Neil, dedicated to holding the dog as tightly as possible so he's not moving anywhere. Um, and we sail back into shore. And uh, we decided to name the dog Lucky because uh, since we found him, you know, it's, it's a lucky happen since we found a crossing. But there was a, quite a bit of debate about whether or not to name him Stupid after you know, his effective going after uh, the birds. But um, it just goes to show that a, a golden retriever is a pretty bad sailing partner. And uh, we eventually managed to find the uh, gentleman who uh, took the dog sailing with him. He was apparently out sailing alone with his dog, um, which uh, was a poor choice. So that's why the Golden Retriever is a stupidest dog, because they cannot stop their tracking instincts and always try to catch birds no matter where they are.